Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is making his pitch to New Hampshire voters today. DeSantis is one of a few presidential candidates currently campaigning in the Granite State. He took questions at a town hall in Manchester where he questioned the U.S.'s role in the United Nations and criticized its response to the Israel-Hamas war. Your participation in something like the U.N., if it's short of giving up sovereignty, you still have to ask the question of what's it actually doing? The U.N. is basically a, a, a hotbed for anti-Semitism, anti-Israel. It's some of the worst elements in the world to get together. Joining us now is CBS News campaign reporter Nydia Cavazos. Nydia, welcome to CBS News. It's great to have you. Let's start with DeSantis and his struggles in New Hampshire. He hasn't been doing that well. What is he doing right now to try and turn things around? Yes, Maya, good afternoon. We're out here in Manchester, New Hampshire, following DeSantis' events. And it is fair to say that his campaign, along with the governor of Florida, have been struggling to garner support and just really recruit and appeal to many residents here in New Hampshire. But his campaign and Ron DeSantis have said that, you know, it's all playing out as part of his campaign strategy, that much of his resources were focused on Iowa. But it was during the fall season when his team is planning on amplifying his voice and really increasing his presence. You know, during during August and October, there was a gap in DeSantis' presence here in New Hampshire, which is why we could why we could have seen that reflection in the polls where he wasn't necessarily holding on to that second place after former President Donald Trump here in the Granite State. Well, as we know, polls show former President Trump holding a very large lead in the state. And DeSantis has to differentiate himself from the former president while not alienating his base. How does he do that? Well, DeSantis has reiterated his message to many uh, residents and voters here in early key states, such as New Hampshire, saying that America needs a president who is going to be focused on the issues that matter most to residents here in New Hampshire, as well as the other states like Iowa and South Carolina, and that America doesn't need a president who is focused on personal issues. And of course, this is a target, and this is a reference to former Donald Trump. And this is just one of the many examples of how uh, he is trying to distinguish himself from Donald Trump, as well as other GOP. Candidates. And in the last few weeks, we've also seen Ron DeSantis is clearly making his stance and what his position is when it comes to the Israel and Hamas war and appealing to voters here in New Hampshire. Nydia, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie says he's staking his presidential run on success in New Hampshire. How does that affect the DeSantis campaign at this point? You know, I would say that it doesn't necessarily affect this campaign at this point. And in fact, during the past weeks and even during the past days, we've seen a focus on DeSantis' campaign. And even with the governor of Florida himself, he's targeting other GOP candidates, including Nikki Haley, for the past days on her stance with Israel and Hamas. And given the recent polls in Iowa that show that Nikki Haley is now in second place and is now leading Ron DeSantis. So we see an effort and much of attention with his campaign as, as far as some of the ads that have been focused on other candidates and not necessarily with Chris Christie. All right, Nydia Cavazos, thank you.